Welcome ED6318 Literacy Through Literature students. My name is Dr. Jennifer Miller Ray, and I'm excited to serve as your course instructor this spring. I look forward to collaborating with each of you and wanted to create a welcome video to kind of introduce you to the course, review the course syllabus, the textbooks, and uh, some help features that are available to you, and then how to navigate our course modules. So I want to begin by uh, letting you know that uh, I, my door is always open to you. So if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me. Um, the first, uh, as you notice, this is not my normal office. Um, last week, we were treated with a Sol Ross uh, revamp of the education department. So they are laying carpet um, last weekend today in our offices so that I'm kind of relocating myself to create the video. I intended for this course to be opened on Friday, but um, we have renovations going on. So it's been a little bit hectic this spring, but um, it'll be nice to have a newer uh, facility and hopefully uh, the students will have a more creative experience here in our face-to-face -face courses. So I'm excited that we have um, renovations going on in the department. That being said, uh, the video in this class is opening up a little bit later than expected. Uh, today is Monday, January 21st, but our official course uh, opening and class date doesn't officially start until tomorrow, January 22nd. So you'll still have plenty of time um, to kind of introduce, to kind of become familiar with the course. And um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact me. Um, I'd be happy to, to assist you in any way. That's why, why I'm here. Okay, so once you log into your Blackboard, notice here on the left hand side you'll have an announcement section. The announcements is how I communicate with you. So you'll see an announcement here with this welcome video here shortly. I use announcements weekly and send emails weekly to talk about upcoming assignments um, and to kind of help keep you on track. I send a copy of the announcements to your email, your Sol Ross email. So when you log in to Blackboard, that's the first place you're going to want to look is in the announcements section. Then you have your My Grades, a help um, button that directs you to Blackboard Assistance. Um, so if you're having issues learning how to utilize uh, the discussion tools or the portfolio tool or um, Blackboard Collaborate, this is a good resource for you. Um, the third thing you're going to want to look at um, early this week is the course information. So here we have the syllabus. Here you'll see the welcome video and our um, updated syllabus. The syllabus I emailed you out earlier didn't have all of the due dates, so the final syllabus is here, and I'll be sending a copy to you today as well and posting it online. But this reviews all of our court textbook information that I'll go over here in a second. Um, the reading specialist standards, I'm gonna encourage you to go and download a copy of the Reading Specialist Standards um, because we use those even in Module 1. Um, I like for you to look at um, what we expect our Reading Specialists to know and also what we expect them to be able to do. Um, and so I think that's something that you're going to want to keep on your desktop. And then all of our assignments, so we have discussion boards, which have two parts to them. You have um, the initial post or your initial reflection to whatever the discussion board is asking, and then I and then you are required to peer review two other uh, peers' discussions. So some of these are just discussion posts, but then others are going to be connected to a blog that you will create in this course. If you have already created your reading literacy blog. Um, you will just update your blog and continue using your old one, um, but you will create a post, and we'll talk about that a little bit more next week, and then you'll copy and paste that URL to the discussion board, and then again, peer review. So to earn your maximum points, you have to have your initial post, and then at least two peer reviews to, to earn full credit for the discussion board's assignment. So 
those are worth 400 total points. Um, we will look at the goals and objectives and you'll actually come uh, to this course with a growth mindset of, okay, what can I learn? And how does this apply to the reading specialist standards? So for this first assignment, which is in module one, refining your why, you're gonna go back up here to um, download the reading specialist standards and take a look at that and see how, so when you go to that link, you can go down towards the bottom. It'll say student services certificate standards. You're the reading specialist in this class. And when you pull this up, this has all of our standards. And then I like that it's separating into the know, knowing and the doing. So how, what do you think, looking at the purpose of the course, um, what do you think uh, you will walk away with? Okay, with the knowing and the doing. So when we look at the syllabus, um, what standards and competencies will this help you with? What are your goals? So when you think about a goal, remember a student learning goal is um, crosses all um, ages. So we're looking at your learning goals. Your goals are broad, but the objectives are measurable. Okay, and we use SMART goals, um, and you have objectives that are measurable, meaning that you have produced some type of evidence showing that you've mastered the goal. So maybe your evidence is your blog post, your discussion board posts. It might be um, your response audit, it's these assignments. It could be a lesson plan. Okay, but um, so I'm looking at that, and that'll be something you'll do this first week. Um, then reflection and response audit assignment, all the information is there on how what that what that entails, your storytelling activity, digital book assignment, Newberry Award books in the story pyramid activity, um, and the informational books online, academic portfolio, you will you will have a mid semester exam and a final exam. Um, and then we have here the grading policy and then your course schedule. So um, today and tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is the first day of class. So we don't really open. I'm going to go ahead and open the class up early today. Um, but tomorrow I would like for you to get in and kind of review the syllabus. Go through all the information. If you have questions, please email me. I'll be happy to respond. Um, hopefully I'll be back in my office towards the end of the week. Um, but otherwise I'll be available via phone and email. Um, module one is laid out there for you. You'll have the room with a view discussion board, your student information form, the goals assignment where you're talking about your goals, refining your why, you know, why are you in the class? Why are you in the program? You know, what is your end goal? And then how, what is the evidence that you're going to meet the goal as it relates to this class? And then I'm going to ask you to read the print to ebook article because I know some of you might have a delay in getting your textbooks. Okay, so we're going to review the syllabus and then let's talk about the textbooks. We will be using Dean, the Reading Specialist Leadership and Coaching for the Classroom, School, and Community. This is an excellent book. We use this in many of our Reading Specialist courses. So I'm going to ask you to hold on to this book if you don't already have it. Um, and you're in the program, this is one that we use a lot. Um, also, we will be using Elementary Children's Literature Infancy through Age 13 by Nancy Anderson. Wonderful book. I think you're going to love the book. I love the book. Um, I've had students tell me that they used it, a lot of the strategies that they learned um, in, in their classroom um, immediately. So I think you'll really enjoy the book. And then we have a recommended textbook here, Falling in Love with Close Reading, Lessons for Analyzing Text and Life. So these first two are required and you can find them in the Stoll Ross bookstore and on Amazon. Um, after you have reviewed the textbooks, the welcome video and the syllabus that I just went over, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get started with modules and we are beginning module one tomorrow. Um, and that will be due on January 28th. Um, and so when you click on module one,
you'll just go in order here and you'll start with the room with the view, the student information form, here are your goals, and then the article. Okay, and that's what we'll be doing this week. Please let me know how I can assist you. I look forward to collaborating with you. Um, the last thing I want to do, do want to show you is the virtual office. This does have my contact information here and how you can contact me. We do, I do use Twitter. So if you have an article or some, a resource to share, I encourage you to share that resource with our education community using the hashtag SRSULearns. Um, here you'll find information on how to direct questions if you have issues with technology. And my office hours will be Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you can see those there. All right. Have a great day. I look forward to meeting you and collaborating with you this semester. Good luck.